Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can make this one turn up a treat. Okay, let's see what this is. It says here, shipwrecked on a desert island. Everyone spins to find out how long they're stranded. So this is basically from a game called The Game of Life. I've heard of that game. I think it was advertised on television decades ago. And yeah, I found this on the ground somewhere. I figured I'd souvenir it. The game of life, you know, life is a bit like a game, but it shouldn't be like that. You know, everyone should have a fair go and everyone should have... It shouldn't be like that too hard. You know, people shouldn't have to treat it like life's a lottery. That everyone in this world deserves a fair go. Just taking a sheet of paper to put behind it. Sorry about the fart ass thing pieces are stuck together. Ah, oh, fuck it. Can't be fucking bothered. Oh, I'm just going to drop the dog feeder on it. But basically, life shouldn't be considered like a lottery. Everyone should have a fair go. Everyone should have a happy and caring life. Have a happy life and, and have a life of caring and, and love. Love is the most important thing. I just wish more people could have it. really difficult um, in this world. I wonder what the yellow thing is. And this is it here up close. But basically I really feel that the world needs to be more fair, more of a fairer place than what it's become. Because it's the rich people that seem to have all the all the sway in everything and people including myself have I, I know what it's like to feel like life's a lottery. I don't see it like that. I, the funny thing is, if I can get this material to go to air on the 6 o'clock news, I'll feel like I've, I've, I've won the jackpot, you know, that I've won Powerball, but better than Powerball because Powerball is just a game of chance and the more you play, the more you lose. The likelihood of winning a Powerball uh, jackpot is fucking slim. Um, you've got to concentrate, folks, on what you're talented at. I know Channel 9, the channel that I'm targeting primarily, are into showing Powerball winners wasting space on their bulletin, and it really pisses me off, and they don't seem to realise that that's... That, I know people obviously want to see it, and obviously Channel 9 think it's going to um, win the ratings if people see... Even if people are watching it because they're dreaming about winning Powerball, but that's nothing to dream about. You've got to fucking capitalise on what you're good at, your talents, your strengths, your passions. You know, don't let the fucking money fuckers rule your life and try to brainwash you into playing some dumb, dumb lottery. You know, really, it's dumb dumbism. It's stupid. You know, the more you play, the more you lose. Yes, you get the odd winner. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Yes, I know you've got to be in it to fucking win it. But fuck me dead. How likely, folks? How likely? You're likely to die of cancer. You're likely to do this. You, you, you. What, what can I do to fucking get it through to you fucking idiots that Powerball is not going to win you a fucking hardly anything. It's just shit. That's just the money-making rot. Those people who pocket your winning your 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 losing tickets the profits it's profit making that's all it is it's a it's a business folks powerball is and other lotteries are just businesses they're not there to they're not a, a benevolent society or a or a charity 
you know, the more you play, the more you fucking lose. Can't you get that, folks? You know, can't you see that? Don't listen. When Channel 9 shows someone winning Powerball that they've won, just ignore it. It's fuck, you know? Ignore it. It's stupid. Make sure they get less ratings by not watching that shit. It's shit. The more you play, the more you lose. It's gambling, folks. It's fucking gambling. You've got to play the game of life in a, as much as you can to help others, if, if it is, if you could call it a game. You know, it shouldn't have to be a fucking game. It should be a fucking... should be a certainty that you're going to achieve in life. You know, why did you go to school, folks? Why did you go to high school? Why did you study? What's the point in fucking studying and being worried about getting low marks and then you fucking turn out to be poor in the end? What's the point? What's the point, you know, of living if you can't fucking achieve? You know, achieve in life, not just fucking dumb, dumb school. You know, school is not the sum total of what my life is going to end up as. School sucked. You know, I've got disabilities. I got, I had a cord around my neck. I came out breech. I ended up with brain damage. I can't learn properly. I also believe I have Asperger's syndrome or fucking high-functioning autism. And I fucking... This is what gives me the powerhouse to do that, but it fucked up my social life at school. I had nothing going down properly when I was at school, folks. Nothing was working. I was getting teased. I was getting bullied. I was getting pressured. I was getting told that, that I have to do this. I get I get in trouble um, for not wearing my for not bringing my PE uniform and all the rest of it. I hated school. I hated. Math, I hated English, I hated and science I couldn't do because my math was so bad. I couldn't do physics, which I wanted to do. So, yeah, I fucked up and I dropped out in year 11. And now I'm going to become a photo, I'm going to become a photocopier artist. So, yeah, and I'm going to succeed. I'm going to think positive, folks. And Channel 9, if the ball is in your court to play my material that I'm showing you here and elsewhere that I've given to you, so... Please play my material and make my life no longer a lottery. Yeah, no longer a lottery. It's not a lottery. I'm going to win. I'm going to fucking win. Got to go.